goals. <laughs> <laughs> Expectations. Frustratingly upsetting. Iffy. I'm kind of iffy about that, yeah. I want to do that, yeah. Necessary evil. Bullcrap. Like... <laughs> um, other people, it's not their goal and they've got their reasons, but I want to pass. That's what I want. People are like, oh, you have to look a certain way to, you know, be seen as female or be seen as male. And it's just like, well, no, not really. You spend a fair amount of your life um, protecting one secret. And then you put that down only to adopt another and continue to look over your shoulder for the rest of your life, fearful that somebody would discover that you're trans. Um, and I think that, I think passing for most people is that kind of a two-edged sword. Passing isn't really just a trans issue, it is a feminist issue. Passing tells me that there has to be one, you know, a female has to look this way. They have to have elegant, long, soft hair. They have to have a full chest. They have to have a skinny waist. There's, there's passing. Um, no, it angers me. Um, it upsets me because it's, it's trans people succumbing to like cis normativity. Um, this idea that in order to be accepted, you have to be cisgender. You can't be trans. Um, I think trans people should love themselves however they look. Dress as yourself, be as yourself, be the most authentic you you can be. And that will make you courageous, that will help make you strong. I want to be who I am, who I'm comfortable being. Um, if I'm not passing, I don't care. Um, if I am passing, that's fine too. Um, as long as I'm true to myself.